It's like, this world is not going to break you. We won't allow it. Yeah. Hey loves, it's Angie B and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I transformed myself into Jordan Woods. Basically, I'm not gonna comment much on all the Red Table drama, but I will say, I don't think anyone's right in this situation. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then I don't know where you've been on the internet. Go and find out, just Google Jordan Woods and you'll see all the drama with Tristan. I think that of course she was wrong for being in that position, but the way Chloe responded, I'm just like, no girl you need to sit down like i'm sorry now you're making everyone back up jordan even though she was kind of wrong well she was wrong yes but she's not the reason why everything's going like that but anyway when i watched the interview i didn't even watch like the full thing but i was just like oh my gosh her makeup is awesome and a few people have told me before that they think i look like jordan woods and i think a couple of my videos have comments when someone's like oh you look like kylie's friend so i thought since I love this makeup look, it's the perfect opportunity to see and did I, did I nail it? So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll be linked right down there as well as the bell icon which just notifies you every single time I post a video. Jumping right into the tutorial, as you can see my brows are already done just how I always do them. So I'm starting by concealing my face with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the color C12. Also know that everything I mentioned will be listed in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. So if you guys can tell, Jordan has some freckles, but they're not as dark as mine. So I really wanted like very quite full coverage because that's how she looked in the interview. So that is what I'm doing. I'm starting with concealer, which I never do, and then I'll go with my foundation routine. So I'm just buffing the concealer out with this Real Techniques blending brush. And... I just really love how this really blends and really keeps it in place so you can see I wasn't necessarily dragging it all around. Then I'm taking those two foundations and mixing them together for my perfect shade. It is a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the color Cafe I believe and the Maybelline Fit Me in 250. Um, so I'm just using this brush that I use to mix everything together and just drawing lines all over my face and down my neck Then I'm using the same brush just to blend everything out on my face and I'm so mad guys I forgot to prime my face, but you know if you're doing this tutorial make sure to prime first But I was actually shook at how good my skin was because it was just gliding on so well I've really got my routine down packed. So if you ever want a skincare tutorial, let me know So yes, we're just going to blend this all out nice and evenly and once that is all done and nicely blended, I went ahead and blended down my neck. And then I will take my favorite sponge from Eco Tools. It is this big green sponge. And it's just my favorite sponge in general. And I just go every, over everywhere where we already applied the foundation. Just to push it into the skin and make it look nice and natural. Now we're going to conceal with another Makeup Revolution concealer in the color C10. And I used this because she actually looked like she had quite a bright-ish under eye. So this is like two shades lighter than my skin tone. That's why I didn't use the same one I used to conceal earlier. And I'm just putting it under my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, um, around my mouth and on my chin and that's the picture I was looking at for reference and then as you guys can see I want everything to blend seamlessly which is why I'm using the same brush without like wiping it off because it has a little bit of the excess foundation on it just helps everything blend more seamlessly together as you can see it just came it just came together so well so also if I did mention before if you would like an eyebrow tutorial let me know because I just did my, my brows how I usually do them so I didn't bother to film that part. So after everything's blended out, I go back again with the sponge again, just to blend everything nice together. Now I'm taking this banana powder from Makeup Revolution as well. This is not sponsored by Makeup Revolution. I just love their products. And it's a nice yellowy powder and I'm just setting my under eye with that. Her look was pretty matte. So I tried to put as much powder as I could without making my skin dry because I do have naturally dry skin. So I'm just setting all the places where we put the concealer on. And then I blend it in again, push it into the skin with this brush, and then I'm going over my eyes with the same color. I'm just using a big eyeshadow brush and then buffing it out. Now to contour, I'm using the Makeup Revolution foundation stick in the color F14. I'm really using a lot of Makeup Revolution stuff. I didn't realize it, but you know, it just happened that way. I didn't plan it. 
Um, so I'm just contouring all the hollows of my face and then I'm using the same brush to blend everything out again and it just really helped with a really nice seamless look and make sure when you're blending you're not putting you blend where you haven't put powder because cream over powder is just a no-no then i took that big fluffy row techniques brush and i took some more of the banana powder and just set everywhere on my face and now to bronze up the face i'm using my favorite bronzer the physician's formula butter bronzer in the color bronzer i want i want to actually get the darker shade i think it will be better for me but this one also does the job then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color Toffee and I'm using this almost like a blush because she had a very very light pink blush which almost looked like a corally bronzer so that's what I decided to do. Then I went back in with the bronzer from Physicians Formula to contour my nose and this is just like an old wet and wild blush I used to blush a little bit. Then that's the Revolution palette in the color Nude Rose I believe and I just took that peachy color and I'm just working it into my crease all the way to the inside of my brow bone, I guess. Because she actually usually does her eyeshadow like that. And then I just took like a plain white, it's kind of like a satiny, almost pinky finish eyeshadow. Because that's what she looked like she was wearing. So that is what I went for. And now I'm just cleaning up under my eyes and doing like a light bake. Because I noticed my skin was getting like slightly oily there. So I just decided to bake while I was putting my mascara and lashes on and those are on and now I'm just dusting off the powder and for a very very light high highlight I'm using the sleek highlighter. It's very very minimal very natural looking that's why I went for that because she almost looked like she was wearing no highlight. So I also put that under my brow bone because hers was very nice and defined. And for the tip of my nose, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the color Molten Gold and also on the bridge of my nose just a little bit because she was highlighted there. Then I'm setting with my Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Spray. This is my favorite setting spray. And then I just dried that off and then we move on to our lips. Um, she really looked like she didn't really line her lips that much, but I think there was a little bit of liner So I did decide to do that just around the perimeter not like a full how I usually line my lips And this is just like a liner from the Chinese store, but it's exactly the same color as Milani most natural Then I'm taking my Kate Rimmel lipstick in the color 43 and going over with my Mac lip glass lip gloss in the color nice buzz and this is my favorite lip gloss it's so so shiny and shimmery and then i just cleaned up under my contour with a little bit of the same banana powder because hers looked pretty nice and sharp and this is literally basically the look i take my scarf off and bam jordan woods is here i mean i think i did pretty well i really really love the look i'm wearing almost completely no highlight today which is it pains me but it looks so good actually i'm so proud of myself i think i did a really good job so if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button it'll be linked right down there as well as the bell icon which just notifies you every single time i post a video if you guys would like more kinds of makeup tutorials like this then let me know and i'll definitely make more also just comment whatever else you'd like to see on my channel i'll link a couple of my videos somewhere around here so you guys can see what i've done previously and i'll see you guys in my next video bye It's just, we're all together. We're never, never happened.